Hey guys, it's Andy Elliott. In this video, I'm gonna talk to you about why you'll never need a business degree to kill it. Check this out. I just wanna stay in that state mad shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast. I ain't gonna take that stay back. I'll be swinging on till the hits come in. All right guys, Andy Elliott. In this video, I want you to start by first getting a piece of paper and I want you to write this down as I walk you through this, all right? Now, I don't know if you're younger, I don't know if you're older, but I hear a lot of people believing that they need a business degree, that they need to go get a college education to make it. By the way, I believe college is super important if you wanna prove that you're disciplined, if you wanna prove that you're gonna go through something, you're gonna finish it, and that's how you're gonna get your degree, I'm cool with that, okay? But I wanna explain to you how it will never amount to a dollar figure or money, okay? Now, I want you to do me a favor, on the left side, I want you to put no degree, okay? And on the right side, I want you to put degree. Now, I want you to understand this. On the left side, when you put no degree, I want you to put sales, S-A-L-E-S. -E and I want you to understand about some level 10 earning opportunities in which you don't have to have a degree. And why I will tell you, if you were to ask me, Andy, I'm 18 years old, you know, I wanna, my parents want me to go to college, or I'm wondering, should I go to college, or should I go get a job, what should I do? Well, I would tell you, whether you go to college, or whether you go into sales, or you go wherever, either one of them are gonna require a massive amount of discipline, okay? Because if you go to college without discipline, you're not gonna get a degree. If you go into sales, or go to get a job without discipline, you're not gonna make any money. So like, either way, you don't get to escape discipline, or you just don't get to succeed. But I wanna talk about the sales industry, no degree. Write this low barrier of entry, write this down, low, low, or, or zero even, zero barrier of entry. It means how much money it costs you to get a sales job in these level 10 earning opportunities I'm gonna go over with you, okay? Now listen, I want you to write this down, automotive. You can go get a job at an automotive dealership and make between 100 to 300,000 a year with zero barrier of entry. Now you are gonna have to pay for self-education, you are gonna have to pay to learn how to speak, to learn how to talk, to pay for some training, to overcome objections, to learn how to present. You're gonna have to learn a little bit of that, all right? But you're not gonna go borrow 50 or $100,000 in student loan debt, pay it back after two to four years, and then literally not make any money and, and, and then and have paid back the money. Does that make sense? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. By the way, barrier of entry, how much did it cost you to get the job? Zero. Now underneath that, I want you to write solar. Now solar sales reps who work for the right company could make anywhere between 50 to $100,000 a month. Now, follow me, for the right company, you could. Now, you do gotta go door to door. What's the barrier of entry to get into a solar company? Zero. Do you have to have a regulated sales license to get into solar? No. You could literally be a felon. I just want you to understand this. You could have a felony, you could have a bad driving record. See, because in the automotive industry, you have to have a car, a car salesman license. You have to go get it licensed by the state in most, in most states. Also, yet most companies require a good driver's license. You have to have a good driving record because you gotta be able to drive cars. Does that make sense? But in solar, solar, you don't have to have a good driving record. You also could not have to have a license because you don't have to have a license. It's not regulated yet in solar. These are zero barrier of entry. Now. I, I do run an insurance company as well. Insurance people, they still have to get an insurance license. Now, you, you gotta buy leads, okay, in insurance, or you can network within the people that you know. That is a zero barrier of entry other than getting a license. There's lots of jobs, including real estate, but real estate, you need to get a license. Automotive, you need to get a license. Solar, you don't need to get a license. These are things, when you talk about degrees and not degrees, not degrees, you could make anywhere from 300,000 to a million dollars a year. Year one or year two, think about that. An 18 year old could get in and he could be making this or she could be making this kind of money by 20 years old. Now, I'm gonna ask you a question, okay? Let's go over here to this degree side for a minute. Even if you go through a two year degree and you get your degree, what are the chances of you staying in the field you got your degree for? By the way, underneath that, the degree, what does it pay you in that field if you did use that degree that you went to go get? What does that pay you? Does it, does it equivalent to the type of money that you could make in sales over here? Probably not near as much. 50 to 75 grand to 100 grand a year if you're lucky. By the way, I'm gonna ask you a question over here. 
the discipline over here in sales is the same discipline you're going to need over here. You're going to be studying things over here to get your degree that there's a good chance you'll never use in your life. There's a very good chance. All this stuff you take in your degree, you're never going to learn. However, in sales, in sales you learn some things. Write this down. You ready? The ability to master a stranger. How important is it to be able to walk up and, and, and talk to anybody in the world you need to talk to? Priceless. How, how, how important is it to be able to sell? Sell somebody on giving you the job you want. Selling your job on giving you a raise. Dude, selling your way so you don't have to sell your life out for a salary and you can make as much money as you want. Having the ability to present. Having the ability to, to, to believe in yourself. Having the ability to have rejection and to work through it. Having the ability to learn how important a mindset is. Dude, you know what I've learned? People that go get degrees, a lot of them never learn the power of a mindset. In sales, in sales we do learn with no degree the power of having a mindset. After rejection, after a bad day, after you just lost your best client, all that stuff. So what I would tell you is if you get a degree, understand this, you're not going to get your degree for money. There's a good chance that the, the degree you're going to get, you'll never use 90% of people that go get a degree, never use the field that they got their degree in. Now you get to run around, you have a diploma on the wall, you paid back 50 grand in student loan debt, you went after two or four years. Can I ask you a question? Could you have taken that same amount of discipline, been over here in sales and, and saved yourself up a million cash? Okay, And then by the time you're 21 years old, 22 years old, you're light years ahead of where most people went to college. By the way, I'm going to ask you a question. In the sales industry, right, you're around people who are constantly outside the box thinkers and inside schooling. Dude, schooling is very civilized and I'm not against it. I'm just telling you, there's a lot of the same people that are in school and these same people think the same way and there's not a lot of outside the box thinkers. So I would like to tell you that, look, I love you guys. Getting a degree, if you want to get one, and you're like, hey man, I wanted to get a degree. You know, everybody in my family's always got one, so I'm gonna get one, or no one in my family has ever got one, so I wanna be the first to get one. If that's like something that's like your why, like I wanna get it, then go get it. But I will tell you, if it comes down to you outside of getting out of school when you're 17, 18, 19 years old, and you wanna be successful, I would tell you to go get in sales. I would tell you to find a level 10 earning opportunity, and guess what? Have a level 10 skill. And I can teach you how to do that. And if you can do that, you can have what most people will never have their entire life at a very young age. So that's my uh, belief on degrees. It's my opinion. So I love you guys. Kill it, crush it. Anything you need, let me know. I got your back for life. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.